Right, hello everybody. I'm out doing radio stuff once again. It's the 27th of December. And uh, this is going to be my last last radio outing of 2022. So as you can see, I've got the uh, the van here and the aerial set up. Which took a bit of doing in the, the cold. Um, today we're going to be doing a bit of... Um, well, it's going to be transmitting television signals back and forth to uh, to a few people around Yorkshire and possibly a little bit further. Um, been on the high ground up here. It's about a thousand feet above sea level, and they're uh, pretty cold <laughs> with the, all the ice and everything. But uh, the higher we are up, generally, the further the radio signals travel. Um, that's pretty much the higher you are, the further you can see. So kind of the same sort of thing applies. So. Everyone tends to ask me why do I go on the hilltops and that's because generally you can get the signals to go a lot further and uh, that is that is half of the uh, the fun with the radio stuff is the challenge to get the signals to go as far as you can. So, uh, so yeah it's going to be TV today, television signals and um, it's not BBC or ITV, I'm not going to do Dancing on Ice or anything like that, don't worry, even though that might be a bit more entertaining for you. Right, I'll just give you a little look around on the van here and show you all the uh, the equipment and things. So the aerial mast is just uh, like a scaffolding pole with all your aerials attached to the top. So there's one at the bottom. This one here is for VHF. The next one up, well actually that one up the top there, uh, this one here is UHF 400, 430 megahertz. This one here is on 1.2 gigahertz. And uh, this bottom one here is on uh, 145 megahertz or thereabout. And the top one is also 145 megahertz for uh, just for the voice contact, for setting up the, the contact. So got a bar off the roof there to hold it up. And then there's a, a tilt over mount at the bottom which um, I lie the aerials down onto that uh, tripod there when I'm setting them up and then it tilts up and then the, uh, the bracket on there to hold it all vertical as long as it's not too windy so that's all the aerials and things um, there is a motorised mount on the roof well, I've got a dish on the top of there for the really high frequencies but I'm not using that one today uh, inside the van We've got the heater running to keep us warm for the day, fix that. Um, and then there's quite a bit of uh, equipment in here. So these these bits in here are... Uh, I'll just turn the volume down on the talk back. Um, yeah, there's various bits of equipment in here for power supplies, power distribution and uh, mainly amplifiers. And the top one there is the controller for the, the dish on the roof. Um, these bits of kit here uh, the uh, well, basically, this is a, a amateur television transmitter and receiver. Uh, I've kind of got two, two together. One so I can look at the spectrum of the signals, which is on here at the moment, and then one to actually look at the video signal coming from the that we're trying to decode at the moment. So that's the video signal coming from that signal on the spectrum there. Uh, the radio in the background is what I use for just local voice contact. And I've uh, got the laptop in with uh, various things on so we can we can plot the uh, the signal path where we we're uh, looking to at the moment. Uh, and we can also do that on the map as well. We've got a bit of a uh, television uh, chat there going on. Talking to a few people on there. So uh, that's the equipment and everything. So uh, we'll see if we can get some contacts lined up and uh, we'll show you some signals coming in from hopefully long distances. Alright so trying to receive a signal here from uh, John G0ATW he's down near Grimsby. Um, I've got a signal from him on 437.5 megahertz there that signal there not these little ones that are nearby but that one there is John's signal TV signal. Um, and we've got it onto the receiver and it's locked up and given his call sign and there's a brief bit of the signal um, but it's not quite a full picture is it very close 
But you can see into his uh, radio shop there. Yeah. G4YTV M0DTS portable. Yeah, okay, Richard, no problem. Catch you in a bit. But yeah, very cheers. So yeah, that's um, <laughs> there's lots of uh, noise as you can see here. There's the spectrum is moving up and down. Yeah, I could quite drop a bit. the symbol right even further. And Robbie, that's um, down to uh, RAF Filingdale on the mirrors. Uh, we get uh, lots of uh, pulses of signal from and that upsets the receiver, unfortunately. So it makes it very difficult to receive video. But, well, I've got half a frame from you, uh, John. I can see the top half of your shack, but not the bottom. <laughs> That's amazing. It's amazing you're doing that. Yeah, just, well, we power up a little bit on two metres. So. Yeah. yeah, it's amazing you've got that. So that's Richard's signal on uh, 1280 megahertz on the spectrum, nice big strong signal. And then uh, that's his uh, video being decoded on the receiver. That's um, Clive G3GGA coming through at the moment on 70 centimetres. The picture's frozen for now, but and that's his signal there coming through on 437.5 megahertz. But uh, all this uh, bouncing up and down of the spectrum is uh, from Farlingdale, so it breaks the signal up quite a lot. But, um, so yeah, Clive's down now um, near Hull. He's here. And Richard was a bit further up. There's another signal. So that brings us on to one question I get asked quite a bit, is to why do I do all this instead of using the mobile phone and most of that is because the mobile phone is too easy um, all the radio stuff is quite a challenge so it's uh, it's just more interesting learning how things work building equipment and making things and making a transmitter that transmits a signal and goes quite a long way it's quite a challenge um, but I, that's what I enjoy doing and uh, sometimes when the radio conditions is right, this signal can travel a hell of a long way. Um, a few a few weeks back, when I was out this this location as well, I managed to get signals back and forth from a station in Germany on uh, 437 megahertz. So that was pretty good. And that's 640 kilometers or more. So it was really really good. So occasionally signals travel a long way. Today, absolutely rubbish.